from the heights of space to the depths of the sea india is now preparing for its first ever human mission to explore the mysterious world beneath the ocean prime minister narendra modi announced from the red fort on august 15th that india will undertake a deep sea exploration mission a bold step that could unlock hidden treasures under the indian ocean this month indian scientists got a taste of what lies ahead in partnership with france a team from the national institute of ocean technology chennai trained on board the french submersible nautil operated by the marine institute i for mr they descended 5000 meters into the atlantic ocean learning critical skills in operating manned submersibles survival in extreme conditions and deep sea research methods this international training is the first step towards india's own mission samudrayaan at the heart of india's mission is matsya 6000 a human submersible designed to carry three indian scientists to the depths of 6000 meters nearly 6 kilometers underwater unlike conventional submarines which reach only 300 meters this submersible will operate in one of the harshest environments on earth under crushing pressure complete darkness and freezing temperatures scientists call it a human spacecraft under the sea to survive those conditions matsya 6000 uses some of the most advanced technologies ever developed in india a titanium alloy personal sphere 2.1 meters in diameter jointly developed with isro it can withstand pressure 6000 times greater than at the sea level inside the crew can operate safely for 12 hours normally and up to 96 hours in emergencies there's a cutting edge systems including a bio vest to monitor crew health in real time a cognitive digital twin to support in emergencies and underwater acoustic telephone for communication and a ballast management system that controls buoyancy from both the ship and the submersible a high density lithium polymer power system for propulsion every detail matters because engineers say if the submersible is just 1 gram heavier than required it may never surface again so precision is everything well the progress has been steady In January and February this year, wet harbor trials were successfully conducted at the LNT shipbuilding facility in Tamil Nadu. Indian industry partners are building major subcomponents from the base frame to pressure cases. Navigation and communication systems are being integrated with support from DRDO, including GPS, Doppler velocity logs, depth and acoustic positioning systems. This is an entirely indigenous effort, bringing together more than six premier institutes, including ISRO, DRDO, and NIOT. India's deep sea mission is not just about science; it's about resources and strategy. Beneath the Indian Ocean lie over 300 million metric tons of polymetallic nodules. deposits rich in copper zinc aluminum and platinum these metals are vital for industries like electronics renewable energy and defense manufacturing mining them could significantly boost india's resource security and blue economy the mission will also pave the way for autonomous and robotic underwater vehicles capable of large scale exploration and mining in the future if india succeeds it will become the sixth nation in the world to master deep sea human submersible technology joining an elite club that includes russia france japan china and the united states just as space technology reshaped geopolitics deep sea technology is expected to play a crucial role in the coming decades from energy security to strategic dominance in the indo pacific with an investment of rupees 4077 crores over 5 years the deep ocean mission is already in its first phase Samudrayaan is more than a scientific adventure it is India's declaration that the country will not just reach for the stars but also explore the darkest depths of the ocean from space to sea India's journey of exploration is only just beginning fighting so long and so hard that they don't know what the f they're doing. <laughs>